Welcome in the 19th episode. Today we will implement the game over screen. If you want to help support this channel, hit the subscribe button below this video, turn on notification so you will not miss any future releases. So as you remember in the last episode, we have added the countdown timer. So currently when the count when the timer is going down to zero, there is no action in the game. So at this moment we want to indicate to the player that that the player has lost and we want to display the game over screen. So let's quickly add this game over pop-up to our game. So first of all, let's open our project and we need to add one more script. So I will go to the scripts, right click, create C sharp script and let's call the script the game over pop-up. Let's open the script. So first of all, let's add the using statement. So right at the top, I will put using unity engine dot UI. And then let's remove these comments. Let's remove the update function. And right at the top, I will add a few public variables. So first one will be public game object game over pop up. then public game object continue game after adds button so this will be our button which lets the player to watch the ad and then carry on the game so now in the start method let's first of all get our continue game after adds button dot get component and we want to get the button dot interactable would be equal to false so you don't want to enable this button right at the beginning uh, in the later tutorial we will add the implementation of the advertisement so once the ads will be ready to display this button will be set accordingly to this ads status so now let's uh, get our game over pop-up and then let's set active and let's put false Okay, and then right at the bottom of the start method, we want a ref reference to our game events. Game events dot on game over plus equal, and then let's add function show game over pop up. Okay, and then right below, I will add the private void on disable. And then I will just duplicate this game event line, move it to the on disable, and make sure you put this minus instead of the plus. So we want to unsubscribe from this event. And now let's add this show game over pop up function. So below this on disable, I will just copy this name and let's put the private void show game over pop up. And then inside this function, let's get our game over pop up dot set active will be equal to true and then continue game over after adds button dot get component button dot interactable will be equal to false this is just for now later on we're gonna change this behavior okay let's save everything now and then let's go back to unity Let's go to our scenes and then open the game scene. So now let's uh, reveal our canvas and then right click create empty. And I will call this object the game over pop up. Game over pop up. Let's change this unhor settings and then stretch it on the whole screen. And now let's go to our scenes folder, uh, scripts folder. And then let's grab our game over pop up script and dr drop it in into our game over pop up object. And from here, we will have to initialize these two variables. We will do that in a second. But first of all, let's right click on our game over pop up, create empty, and I will just call this object pop up window. 
and now let's grab our let's change our anchor settings to to be stretched and then right click on this pop-up window ui image and it's gonna be our game over panel then let's click on the small dots and then type background so we're gonna select the background texture and then we're gonna change the color so let's set the color to be black and let's change this alpha value to be maybe in the middle so we have a semi-transparent background and now let's switch to the scene view and just stretch this background to the size of our canvas actually we can change this anchor settings to be stretched like that and then change make sure it's just cover the whole screen okay if you switch back to the game as you see there's still a small belt so i just make it a bit bigger okay so the whole whole screen should be covered and now let's right click on our pop-up window create empty and I will just call this one pop-up window again so the reason I creating this another pop-up window is because I want to animate this object so later on we're gonna add, add the pop-up animation to our to, um, to our game over screen so it will look much better so under this pop-up window I will right click UI image and this is gonna be our background pop-up background and then let's go to our graphics then game screen and then let's find the pop-up ID texture and drop it into the source image then click the set native size and you should have the correct size for your pop-up now let's add a button so I will just right click on this pop-up window UI button and this is gonna be our watch add to continue button okay let's remove this text component so I just hit delete and then let's apply the correct image so go to the game screen and then grab our watch add to continue button drop it into the source image and hit this set native size okay let's move it a bit down maybe here now let's right click on this pop-up window ui button and this is gonna be our exit button let's remove this text component again select this exit button find this exit button texture and drop it into the source image and then hit set native size and now we move this exit button to be below this watch up to continue now let's add the title so right click UI image and then I will just call this image title let's grab our game over writing and drop it into the source image and then hit native size uh, hit set native size and I will just move it up and then the last thing we want to add is we want to add the square image so right click UI image I will just leave the name as it is and let's gra grab our Mr. Square graphic and drop it into the source image hit set native size and move it a bit up so it's somewhere here so as you see we have our game over pop-up if you de deactivate this pop-up window everything is going off if you activate it you can see this game over pop-up okay so now let's initialize our variables so I will just select the game over pop-up and then let's first of all grab our game over pop-up so grab our pop-up window and drop it into the game over pop-up variable and then let's grab our continue game after adds button so this is watch add to continue button and drop it here we should be ready now to test our game but first of all let's select our pop-up window make sure you select this pop-up window not game over pop-up 
and then deactivate it. So I will just collapse this game over pop-up, let's go to the file and then save. And then in order to test this game, I will just, uh, let's first of all switch to our main, main menu scene, and then let's hit play. And as you see, I have already solved two puzzles, so I'll be, ju I'll be just loading the third puzzles from my foot. So in order to test this game, before I test it, I will just go to my resources, then data, game level data, and then for my foot, I will just hit this foot 3, select this object, and I will just change this max game time in seconds to be, let's say, 5 seconds, and then just save it, file and save. So this is going to give me just five seconds for the, for, to, solve, to find all of the words. And then the game over pop-up should be displayed. So let's hit play, play, foot. And as you see, I have five seconds. And as you see, everything is working fine. So if you have more than 5 seconds, any, any time here, once the timer hits 0, you should see the game over pop-up. And from here you can watch the ad, or you can exit the game. So currently we're setting the ads button to be in, inactive. And let's quickly implement this exit button before we finish this, this episode. So I will just go back to my scenes, and then game scene. Let's go to the canvas. Game over pop-up, pop-up window, pop-up window, and then exit button. And then in the on-click event, I will just hit the small plus, grab our main camera, drop it into this object. From the functions, let's select the game utility, load scene, and then we want to load our main menu. So I will just put the correct name, so whatever scene you want to load, I'm going to go to the main menu. Make sure you put the right name in, and then go to the file, and then save. And then let's go back again to the scenes, hit the main menu, press play, and then let's test it again. 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, and then the game over pop-up is displayed, hit exit, and you should go back to the main menu. So that's it for this episode. In the next episode, we will concentrate on adding the implementation for our advertisement. If you like this episode, please consider subscribing to this channel. It really helps a lot. And leave a like. If you have any issue implementing this Game Over pop-up, do let me know in the comments below this video. So thanks for watching, and I will see you again in the next episode.